There aren't that many people around in Washington who have insight into a presidential complex of scandals that lead to impeachment. I'm here to talk to Jack Quinn, former White House counsel under Bill Clinton and veteran of the Clinton scandal known as Whitewater, the guy who was in the White House in the middle of the last giant legal shit show that consumed the presidency for a period of time. I know that Washington is chuckling and making light of Rudy tripping over himself in the last 48 hours. But this is deadly serious stuff. You know, the president deserves to be well served here. Rudy's off to a very bad start. President Trump has not said anything quite as stupid as I did not have sex with that woman, Miss Lewinsky. But the thing he said in Air Force One was pretty stupid. One of the reasons Rudy Giuliani got out there and started talking, getting ahead of his thinking on it, <laughs> was because of the raid. Yes, well, for sure. And I think they believe that documentary evidence will be revealed. And Giuliani was trying to reshape the, the narrative right. because of the raid. It, it seems to me like just watching the way that Trump and Rudy are dealing with this right now, part of his strategy here is to continue to solidify the base that he has, attack the FBI, attack the DOJ, attack Rod Rosenstein. In the period of time when you work with President Clinton, President Clinton ever talk about trying to fire Ken Starr? No. President Clinton ever say a negative word about the Justice Department? No. Did President Clinton ever attack the FBI? No. But the president made a decision not to attack them, I would say for believing in the institutions and some mix of that this is just dumb politics. No, I think you hit you is hit that it, right? You hit it exactly right. It also goes back to the practical discipline that I think we brought to these investigations. Right. It just made sense to be thoughtful, careful, strategic. Ty Cobb leaving the White House. John Dowd having already left the White House. There, there's just a very notable shift here. He's going to fight subpoenas. He's going to fight. He'd be more confrontational. It sometimes baffles me that, that a lot of people say, well, he's, he's simply not going to cooperate. Right. That decision is not entirely up to him. There's no way the courts, including the highest court in the land, will allow the president simply to refuse to provide evidence in a criminal investigation. If that happens, that is the end of the rule of law in the United States. It would be a terrible turn for the country.